Hey, after 29 years, we finally made it back to the Philippines. We were invited to Dumaguete, Philippines by our good friends who founded uh, Pastoral Training of Asia. So we stayed with them, we ministered around the various villages, and Brian preached, lots of different churches, he was with the pastor and his wife. And the pastor's wife uh, ran a program with the neighborhood kids where she's been sponsored to feed them lunch every day. They're very poor, and um, we come here, and here I got to share the gospel with the moms, which was super exciting. And of course, I got to learn how to cook more Filipino food. I love it. Brian um, is here with the youth, and they loved uh, listening to him, and yeah, he just really connected with the youth there. These youth actually grew up in a children's program right here on the street, and now they're older, and they help uh, teach the kids themselves. At this next church, we prayed for this man who Jesus delivered from three years of anxiety. He could only take shallow breaths, but after receiving prayer and feeling a heat sensation in his heart for area for about a half an hour, he said he could take deep breaths again and he felt free. The pastor and his wife took us to, uh, to this wonderful um, new restaurant that his friend opened up. This was the first day that it had opened. We were his very first customers on the way back home, beautiful scenery. This is Calvary Chapel of Dumaguete. I saw this strange bud and my Filipino friend told me this flower only blooms once and only for a few hours at night. So I asked her to send me pictures of this flower when it finally bloomed and she did. So the youth that you saw earlier that Brian was teaching asked me to help them learn more about children's ministry. So I taught them some methods that I used in Africa. And so I did two children's programs with them. For the second program, I wanted the youth to experience sharing the gospel and doing a program for kids who have never heard the gospel before, never been to a children's program. So we just walked around the inner city and found an alley full of kids and asked this one mom if we could use her driveway and do a children's program. And she said yes. At the end, when we gave the invitation to receive Christ, amazingly, it looked like they all raised their hands and prayed with us. Here we are at Polumbatu Falls. It was really gorgeous, beautiful scenery. our PTA staff that we spent Christmas with. Now we're off to Baiz, another city down the road from where we are staying a few hours. Every block seemed to have their own Christmas tree. <laughs> Very creative. The day before Christmas we walked the village praying for those who wanted prayer and invited them to a Christmas lunch and service the next day. This woman said she had asthma her entire life, but in this moment Jesus touched her and she said she could breathe deeply. This man uh, tried to kill himself three years ago. He actually tried killing himself by jumping off a building two times. Uh, consequently, he had severe nerve damage, terrible pain, but in this moment when we prayed for him, his uh, pain went down considerably and then he said he felt something lift off of him. And he said, I feel light. I don't feel that heaviness anymore. <laughs> we were so excited for him. The neighbors here are getting ready to roast this pig for their Christmas feast. And the church the next day Brian's preaching at. We've invited everyone to, and a lot of them came forward for prayer. It's very exciting. And here we are at one more fall called Casaroro Falls, also near where we were staying. Absolutely gorgeous, but a bit dangerous to cross. Thank you for watching this video, and especially thank you for all of your prayers.